Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation, and this is Dungeon Core, a twin stick shooter action roguelike that I'm very excited to be checking out here today. The game is out now in 1.0, so let's pop on in and see what it's all about. I was going to check this out like a year or so ago, but I think I was just busy. So, what a perfect time to check it out the 1.0 release. In we are. Who the hell are you? And why are you dressed as a liquidator? Take it easy. I was part of the first crew. Really? I heard that only one man survived. You're looking at him. I'm here to help. You could really use a hand. I'm glad to see someone with experience. This is our base here below the surface. Please have a look. Bop. Okay. We've got a little bit of a increased healing from food. We got, okay. Got a couple upgrades. Weapon damage. I do remember uh, from looking at it in the past. I'm pretty sure it is quite... Inspired by the likes of, like, an Enter the Gungeon, which is obviously music to my ears. I feel like there's so many action roguelikes coming out, but most of them are, you know, kind of like the arena survival or survivor-like style genre. I'm happy to see one that's kind of more like a dungeon crawler. Let's do some basic training to freshen up your memory. Start by locating the gun and pick it up. I found it. Good. Now head north for some target practice. Boop. Nasty Larva, perfect chance to practice your aim. Kill them! Okay. Boink, boink, boink. Well, well done. Oh, hey, I was going to say well done to myself, but hey. Head east to the next room. You can always check on uh, check the map on your HUD. You can always use this map to travel to known teleporters. I Hey. Always, that is always a thing to take from the gun gun. See if you can get over the other side. I suggest you phase walk. By phase walking, instead of dodge rolling, you can get past projectiles without taking damage. It's on, okay, it's on space. Nice phase walking, liquidator. Well, thank you very much. I am going to change that. Yeah, or maybe not. It looks like there's going to be something else on right click that we might be curious about. That old terminal's infested. You might need to destroy it. Be prepared for any enemies that may spawn. I'm ready. So yeah, there is a right click, but I guess it's just something we don't have yet. Whoop, 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 whoop. Do we have uh, unlimited ammo? Seems like we might at the very least in this. Well done. Those old tech components that came out of the terminal are valuable. Use them to purchase upgrades or items from stores. Head north from the, or wait, head for the north entrance when you're ready. All right, help. No. Well, here's the entrance to this <laughs> pod forsaken sewer. The core is several floors down. Find a way to destroy it. Time to go down there. Good luck, liquidator. All right. Some weapons can be charged. Try holding the trigger button. Is that like, is that the whole of the tutorial? If so, I'm, I'm into it. Okay, so this needs to be destroyed. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We got some dodge dodging in enemies. Don't know the patterns yet. Uh, okay. Interesting. Okay. Oh, my God. You are a son of a god. I'm getting right up in there. But, yeah, like, whoop. In games like this, the beginning is always quite rough when you have no idea what any of the enemy's uh, patterns are. I'm assuming this does some kind of... Oh! I wasn't expecting it to shoot a projectile. I thought it was going to just drop something on the ground, like an acid. Anything left over here? Just making sure. Zoop, zoop. So we do that in every room, huh? Or no? Okay, so you have like a... You dash and then you shoot a bunch of like homing-ish projectiles. So that can be done at the end of the... The end of the room there. Oh, hey, what? I didn't... I was not expecting something to show up after the room was done. Apparently, it was not done, though. Oh, man. Rank E, plus 40% damage. Okay, so we can get... We got both. Oh, we got both at the same time here. Do... They have unlimited ammo? Seems like they might. That's pretty cool, I will say. I, I appreciate that. 
definitely clear out those barrels and everything. So what about these? Are these breakable? No. Just just the crates then? Or the, the barrels, I suppose? Hello. Key. We don't have enough for any of this. ASG Plasma. Support the cause. Unlocks discounts and supplies. Recovered small amount of HP? Mayhaps. Upgrade your weapon. Don't have enough scrap to do that. I will admit I'm certainly curious. What that's all about. I saw that, like, you know, highly customizable weapons was a thing emphasized about the game, which... You know, it's easy to say that. It's hard for that to be... Oh, what a waste of a teleport. It's hard for that to be true. Like, I'll be the judge of that. We'll see. So we can't fire both at the same time, right? No. Just making sure. Making sure there's not an exploit I can go for literally immediately. Okay. So can we, like, have weapons reload while we're using another one? Because that'd be good news. Yeah, because reloading... Here, let's see. We'll go for that in a sec. We'll empty a... Excuse me. Empty a clip. Okay, this is me firing... That was me firing with my left. Okay, so... Y it's not like... Uh, it's not like a gungeon where your weapon is going to be cooling down. You know, fine. When you're using the other one. So... That's an important thing to note. Okay. Zoop. Don't leave weapons on the ground. Salvage them. I was not told about the salvage mechanic. I feel like this, this is not urgent to kill those right away, right? Seems to probably not be the case. Man, yeah, it is weird to have two weapons that are fighting for my reload. It's... You would think that twice the weapons... I Like, I get it. It should be twice the reloads, but at the same time... Uh, what are you... Is there another machine that I need to kill first? No? Not quite. Ooh, we got a cog. I'm very curious to see the, uh, the upgrades on the weapons. Whoop. Bait him back, bait him back. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm not used to my uh, dodge being on a... Woo, on space. I do like it on right, but I can't deny that, like, with this weapon setup, it just kind of makes sense. Oh, good. We can just walk through the barrels. Three keys! This better be good. Five plus... Or five percent damage up for every key you have. And we got two keys. Hey, I'll take it. Uh, I mean, I guess I'll take it instead of the starter. Salvage. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Yeah, the reloading, it, it, it does feel quite slow. Okay, this is doing some damage, though. Like, I'm spending a lot of my time doing it. But that's just kind of, you know, part of the loop of it, then. If you have whoop, infinite ammo, that's, I guess, the trade-off. Okay, good, good, good. Is this our shop? This is our shop. Let's take a look at upgrading. Upgrade weapon rank or chance to reload a bullet on hit. Yeah, let's try that out. Then we have another. Upgrade weapon rank or walk speed. Weapon rank. This is, okay, this is a really cool system. Walk speed up for faster projectiles. I like this. Okay, I really like that. Ring of tech. Uh, one ring to rule all tech. Tech magnet and plus 100 tech. And tech is 
that. So we kind of like... This kind of only costs 150. I will get that if I can, but I feel like I'm not going to get that much more tech on this floor. I can't say how nice it feels to be playing another, uh, like, twin stick shooter. Ooh, that is kind of just more like a... F I, okay, I was taking damage there. A more familiar, just simplistic layout. Just good old days for twin stick shooter roguelikes. Okay. Oh my, oh my. I don't want to have to buy the food, but I may. Boop. Reload one. Reload two. Oh, just a bunch of free stuff. Hey, I'll take it. Nothing in here, right? Nope. Alright, I'll buy this. And then I'll buy some health. We have a little bit left over. I don't want to. I'm not going to support the cause. I don't care about your meta progression nonsense. You had to ruin it. You had to take it. Take what I loved and slam a little bit of something I didn't in there. Okay, boss. Is this what? No? Yeah? No? Yeah? 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 No? Where's the music? There's just something kind of like extra ominous about the uh... the way it was dropped in here. There's no music whatsoever. What have I done? Did I ruin it? Did I break your game? Honestly, it's creeping me out a bit. Ooh, this is doing some beefy damage. I sort of feel like it might be in my best interest, and this is what I was afraid of. It feels like it might be in my best interest to just only use one gun. There's not a strong incentive to use the second one since you have to reload both manually separately, like, and you can't kind of... You can't do the little bit of trade-off with it. So, yeah. So, more enemies spawn when we break those thingamajigs. So if the room is um, not clear yet, and we break two in the same room, because there can be two in the same room, does it spawn twice the amount of enemies? Yes, it would. Okay. You know what would be cool is if there was some kind of a reward for, like, risking the biscuit and getting a couple going at the same time. Maybe there is. Yeah, I gotta tell you, it's very... <laughs> I wish it wasn't true. But for the most part, seems like just using one weapon is a lot better. <laughs> like, a lot better. Whoop. Okay. Explosive barrels. Is there an incentive for, uh, for breaking this mid-combat? I'm not sure, but I will do it because I am just... I'm a Giga Chat. Oh, it was about to get hit. No. Okay, root. That's a weird startup on that attack. It's quite quick. He does flash, but he flashes like mid dash already. Uh, killing a marked purchase to unlock killing a marked enemy gives a one percent damage up to twenty five percent. Taking damage resets it. Eh? Give me the cheese. We're at the part of the roguelike where we're still learning the patterns, so we kind of have to buy all the healing. Zoop, zoop, zoop. Should I put on my own music? Got one penny. Bring your own music? Ah, okay, so it is a boss floor. Uh, Octo boss. Big beholster vibes. Big screen shake vibes. I did, to be clear, I did already look, and you cannot uh, turn off screen shake, which is a large faux pas in my book. Whoop! It's way too much screen shake to not be able to turn it down. What's this?
For a second, I thought it was a, uh, a Retromation's hoodie. 100 tech, keep all tech on death. I'm going to say, uh, canonically, it is. Whoop. I do want to get to the next floor so I can get my music back, though. Whoop. One key? Absolutely. I'll say there definitely doesn't feel like a shortage of keys. Chance to recover tech from mutants. Small damage increase. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. I'll say that, yeah, the, the upgrades so far are not, like, blowing me away as far as how cool they are or anything, but... They're not bad. And maybe we just haven't seen the coolest ones yet. Open, so we have to open that first. Wait, are you telling me we could have, um ignored the boss and gone to the next floor if we didn't feel like we could handle it. That's a really interesting thing if true. No, right? No, we needed that key card from the boss. Alright. Fingers crossed. Okay, we got some music. Sub sewer. Should I have done that? Absolutely not. Espe especially not when we're going to be learning... All right, there we go. I really felt the need of a second weapon there. Oh, my heavens. All right. Yeah, this, this room I'm feeling like I need the second weapon, but... I don't know. If you have any time, you just kind of want to... Whoop. Go for the full double. I know you. I killed your father. Okay, I will also say another thing I noticed. I took hits a couple times there. I I only know it because I was like, did I? And then I had to look up and see my health going down. It was unclear to me that I actually took damage. For a game that has like lots of screen shake and everything like that, there's uh, a lack of um, notability for when you've taken damage, like a lot. Uh, so I'm actually, here's what I'm going to tactically do here. And I kind of like this, this element of the game right now. We can come back to get those after I've purchased health from the shop. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're on the map. We know that they're there. First blood. I'll give it a shot. I'm trying to find an exploit, okay? I'm trying to find an exploit so I can actually utilize these things better. Whoop, shop. Where are you, shop? Okay, what do we got here? Uh, restores a fair amount of HP. You're not kidding. Shotgun has piercing bullets, etc., etc. You know what? Let's do another one of those. Chance to heal on kill. Now we're talking. I know we could have gotten two in the other, that other one, but I just don't really care. The shotgun's not a bad call, though. All right. So now we uh, now we go back and we do the full kit and the full caboodle. Okay. I didn't quite understand, like, the uh, the benefits and drawbacks of this kind of um, weird machine-killing system. I get it now. I, I get the benefit. Oh, you dirty devil. You are tiny and fast. I hate you. Oh, and you're invincible when that happens? Yeah, you're invincible. That's so annoying. Okay. All right. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. We want to mostly kill with our, uh, our, with our left click, since it has a chance to heal. Uh, hello. Worked. Got a little bit of healing in. Uh, glad I was not there. Thanks for the apple. Chump. But I'm really, I'm also really liking the bow and arrow specifically for killing, like, environmental stuff.
Okay. Since it doesn't need to be reloaded after. I mean, technically it always needs to be re reloaded, but in a way it never needs to be reloaded. Open up. Open up to me! Oh, you son of a... Man! Whoop! We could do it that way, too. We could open up with a... Uh... Ooh. I also... Uh, I've said this, in, in, you know, before. I'll say it again. I'm not really a fan of hiding things in barrels. It inflates runtime in a way that I find not appealing. It makes it... it just like the fact that things can show up in barrels instead of just your your game's economy giving you that amount of money just means you sort of have to run around more just spend more time it's not like it's com particularly compelling to uh is it fun to break barrels sure but it can still satisfy you by like giving you like cool sound effects and everything like that when you know it could just still feel fun I would still break... Okay, that would... See, I got hit a lot there. That was not good. The iframe situation is small. Which is neither good nor bad. It's just... It just is that. Okay. Okay. All right. Not great. I feel like I might have uh, missed some machines there, but I think that's okay with the current health situation. That was not good. That was not good. I hate that he explodes on death. Oh, my word. All right. Got a lot of cheese there. Again, same deal. We'll come back to those after. Wait, what? Was that a whole bunch of money? I thought I heard money drop. Come back to these after. Oh, you son of a man. Ah, please don't spawn me by a bomb. Oh, my word. Jesus up there. Please. Two. Cup. Got the cheese, right? Okay, so now we're at 73. I could probably afford to do it, but same deal. I feel like the logical thing to do... Oh, there can be keys in there, too. Ooh. That means they're, like, really, really a good idea to get. Okay. There's still something here. Get out of my swamp. I feel like I just want to upgrade the uh, the AK again. Okay. Uh, what do we got here? What's this? Blaster. Chance to reload a bullet on hit. I feel like, I mean, you know, if you're going to be inspired by Gun Gun, I feel like having some more exciting weapons could be good too. Maybe they get unlocked over time or something. I'm going to hold off on... Uh, oh, God on that med kit until I take more damage, is what I was going to say. Oh! I got caught up on the uh, level geometry there. Free apple. Why? Why explode on death? Why have explode on death? Did, wait, did he double explode on death? Did he explode and then explode again? Is that what happens? Zoop. Zoop. Alright, what do we got? Not really a long-range weapon, but it's working just fine. Wait, you broke that for me. Uh, wait, that's illegal? I didn't realize they could do that. Oh my god! Stop! Explode on death, man. Why? Okay, I'm hurting. Okay, let's go get the um the treasure chest. 
Uh, projectiles bounce off walls. Collecting tech grants a short period of invincibility. Huh. I will be curious to see that in action. So there's our exits. I probably should stay and clear all this stuff, but I think that could mean I die. Okay, run. If that's the case, then so be it. Oh my god. Wait, did somebody break a machine again? I think somebody broke a machine. Okay. Got a little bit more to explore down there. We obviously have a lot of machines to break yet. What the hell? Oh, yeah, big time. Big time. Big time, big time, big time. I didn't... Wait, what? Okay, hold on. I kind of wanted to um, not pick this up yet. I know I'm technically invincible, but I don't know if it's... I just don't trust it, right? Like, no point in uh, putting myself in harm's way just to see if I'm invincible when I'm at kind of lowish health. Feels dumb. Ah. Got dashed in such a bad spot. Tiny, tiny. Bye-bye. All right. Ah, oh, man. I hate these guys. Uh, try and... I give up. I give up on that. Second. They always go, always go one, two. All right, final one here. We have so much money. I wish we could buy, why did that go sideways? Kill the mini terminals. What? Are they gonna start uh, harming me? Yeah, the bow and arrow is just not exceptionally great. Ooh. This isn't a reward you get every single time for breaking all of them, right? Oh, boy. C rank. Piercing bullets, chance to reload a bullet on hit? Yeah. Bye-bye, Bo. It's been real. It's been fun. Oh, my God. Wait, I think you maybe get more scrap. Increase your walk speed. Cool. Ten scrap. I don't know which gives me more. Give me the rank up. That gave me more than 10%. Okay. Yeah, they gave me like a 40% damage up. Why would you ever take the 10%? I feel like the upgrade is the option you like are probably supposed to sort of take. I'll buy the key. Thank you, sir. I'll give you 10% discount from now on. Now I can stock four items. There we go. All right. There we are. Probably a boss floor. Probably. Oh, oh, oh. These explode like, like normal explode. They, at least the yellow ones did. that first. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, the reload! Constant reload hell! Alright. Good, 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 good. Boop. No! God. <laughs> always. 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 There we go. Boink. Boink. Two is enough. Good. Boop, 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 boop,
Bup, 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 bup. Kind of want to weaken them a little bit with my with that, and then finish them off with this, or just kill them. Got a little bit of health around here. Good. Yeah. Don't know if you were alive for that bullet or not. I'm trying to ooh, farm heals. Get out of here. Get out of here. Boy. I don't know. I think it's quite nice so far. I don't, I don't know. I, I'm just... I'm enjoying myself. I'm, I'm like... I'm absorbed. I'm in. I know I've had like lots of nitpicks and things here and there, but it's just because this is a, a genre that is... It's, it's difficult. It's a difficult one to, to make and have no nitpicks, you know, when you're playing it. And a lot of it comes down to preference, too. So it's tough to say, but, like, getting more used to the enemies, I feel like it's just the hitbox on these guys is so small and they're so fast and they have invincibility, so, like, all those things together feels kind of frustrating. Is that a shop or is that... No. Okay. Boop. But it's just, it's also just fine if they are, if they are a bit frustrating. Zoop. I'll say they're definitely not just cookie cutter enemies that just walk at you with no attack pattern. That is for sure. Okay, so do they have a chance to not explode? I guess. The one thing that bothers me that I think would bother most people is, is truly just how often you're reloading. And how long it takes is... is hefty. Mm, there's our exit. And there's our boss. Oh. Uh-oh. Cannon Balrog? Big bot. Oh, my. Uh, please, I'm still reloading. Oh my god. You see that reload time? This is me trying to use my uh, my right click as well. There we go. A nice relaxing attack. You might maybe you thought I was joking. I was not joking. Nice easy pattern. Bloop. Missing part of a terminal in camp. Next floor. SMG. Yeah. We don't have a shop on this floor yet that we found. Oh, I found a shop. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's four to upgrade. I don't know. I feel like upgrading the same weapon is the way to go. Because I don't know if I'm going to keep the second one. Twenty percent discount. E. Whoop. Uh oh. I'm still reloading. But yeah, I keep, I, the, especially now that I have like I have the heal on kill with this one, it really extra. Ooh, that was not good. Extra feels like I should just keep upgrading this one. Humming a humming, that could have been trouble. It just that, that whole thing just loops back here. You what, mate? Screen of death, 10% damage for every marked enemy in the room. Breaking a terminal marks two to three enemies. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's probably the most, uh, uh, most unique item so far. Upgrade weapon rank even more. Whoop. 
Okay, so wait. Oh, no, no, no. I was going to say... W that that's incentive for doing it well uh, while the room's active, but no, because it slaps the mark on them anyways, even though they weren't alive yet. Missing any terminals? No terminals missing. Uh, I've got two, I've got 308. I don't, I don't feel like I want to I don't want to do anything else there. Swoop. The terminals are infested with radioactive bugs. No. Core area one. Wait, really? Back it up, back it up, back it up. I'll say I like that the music is just nice and relaxing. It's relaxing. <laughs> it, make, it makes it easier to to play and play a difficult a difficult genre when the music is just kinda zen. Ooh. The hell? Whoa. I'm reloading. Still reloading. There we go. Ugh. You gotta admit, that was some pretty good dodges there. <laughs> that was nasty. Reload them both. Kill that fool, get back. Boop, 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 boop. Clunk. Clunk. I'm invincible, so I could just deal. I was going to say maybe we kill the explodey boy last. Uh, do some trick shots, just for fun. <laughs> oh, that poison. They explode and they poison. They got a lot going for them. Uh, uh, I don't know if something broke open or what's up there. Technically should be invincible. I wasn't. Did it really just wear off at the exact wrong time? Is that what happened? Uh, let's also full clear first. Or, or, well, okay. I think the meta is, you know, like, try and find the shop first. And then work from there. Mm. Maybe adding another slot would mean we're more likely to find and buy scrap. Okay, so, well, I mean, now that we got the shop. Uh, actually, this is going to be a mistake. Back it up, back it up, back it up. That would be a bigger problem than it was. Aye, aye, aye. These patterns are no joke, I can't deny. I know that there is uh, some terminals back there that I did not clear yet. Aware, aware. Oh. Oh, boy! Iframes, what are those? Apparently, uh, non-existent. Um, can I please? Be free? Did you break a terminal? You broke a terminal? That's illegal. Everyone's a summoner in this game. If they can break terminals. Ah, uh, man. I was hoping there was food. This is... Now this is starting to look a little bit grim. Though, to be honest, it's... I went from... Ooh, okay. All right, I'll buy key. Like, I just don't know if it's, like, Gungeon style, where I should buy every single key that I see all the time forever. 
Killing 10 marked enemies grants you a bounty and restarts the contract. Marked enemies receive 25% extra damage. That's nice. Escape up to the previous floor just before you die. To the previous floor? Are, are you telling me I got clone? You're telling me I got, like, itty bitty baby clone? Clone, but less annoying because it doesn't go all the way back to the beginning of the run. But also less good, but also less annoying. So there's... Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say. I was just going to say. Their bullets bounce. What is that damage, man? I know that there's meta progress uh, in the game. And it's, uh, some of that was getting more health. But 25% damage, dude. That is some malark. I don't even know what this guy does. And at this point, I'm too afraid to ask. Double explodey boy. Let the one do his thing. Come back out. Start blasting. Actually, wait, hold on. I need health, so. Hmm. Oops. Uh, I've got no keys, so I will buy a key. Three. Eh. Uh, oh, we have no teleporter over there. Zoop. 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 Down we go. Why is to clear the room before destroying any terminal? I agree. The enemies do not. Oh, no. I got caught up in my attack there. They look like they have a scary attack, but I just do so much damage. Screweth thine invincibility. I shall use my own. Another terminal. We should uh, find the shop. If we're missing like any amount of health really it is god did that guy spawn on me oh it's gonna be logical to uh to find a shop first we could even go full cheese and like peek into every single room like every somebody broke a terminal cool We could, or no? We could peek into every room and see if it's a shop before even going further in, you know? What? Do you just, is that just what you guys do? You guys can just teleport? Like, yeah, you know, see what I'm saying? There's nothing stopping me from doing this. Piercing bullets. Great across the board. <laughs> I don't have the money for that. Didn't get another scrap yet. We also, we're not doing very great for health, regardless. Okay, but the fact that we have piercing bullets on this, that, I deserve that. I was trying to avoid the, the worm. I thought he teleported on top of me. He did not. Oof. Piercing bullet is very good for that guy. I don't know. I'm, I guess I'm full clearing looking for one of those use a key to get some food rooms. I suppose is the plan. Nope, that's going to break that. No, it did not. Thank goodness. Mm. 
This is not good. This is very not good. Teleporty worms. Okay, let's just peek against the exit room. Ay ay ay. More! More! S rank. I mean, not that we really even need more damage right now. Uh, yeah, the, the fact that... The sign that we're screwed-ish... Oh, well, hey. Is the fact that there's all of these terminals and I'm sitting here and I'm like, I don't know if I should really even go for them. Like, that's a sign that we are in a bad spot. But... I don't know. Imagine if we get that, like, that rare event thing again. That would be too, uh, too good to pass up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. That was not good. <laughs> that was not good at all. Ugh. Uh, man spawned on me! Man spawned on me! Die? Why don't you? Bouncy bullets on these fools. Watch it. Zoop. 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 Oh, boy. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We got some kind of a... The reward thing? I don't remember what the reward thing does. If it was just money or what. The bounty? Oh, God. Hold on. Give me a year. I'm reloading. Oh, my God. So much time reloading. Sitting duck. I shall be rich. I do not care what it shall do to my health. I'll die if I must. I'll die rich. I heard you can take it with you. I mean, for all I know, you know, the meta currency. I don't know which thing is the meta currency. Oh, boy. I'm at one health. I'm at one health. That's not stressful at all going into the next floor. <laughs> <laughs> I probably should have just unlocked this cool new gun thing. Freaking cookie! Aw. Oh. Beans. Now I'm at two health. Why am I at two health? Let's, let's die to a pit. I'm gonna die to a pit. I'm just calling it now. I guess I healed off of an enemy. Just play it. Just gotta play it. I'm annoyingly safe here. Voop. 137. Alright. For all I know, this could be the final floor of the game. Core area three. <laughs> the core entrance must be in there. Um. Uh huh. Just perfect the final boss forehead. Just do it. Ah yes. The drags, dragon snake. Oh, those bounce off the walls as well. Oh, you are evil. You are an evil little man. Okay, heal off of these, please. Oh, actually, though? 
These are going to explode. Yep. I don't know if I'm hitting you very well. I don't feel like... Yeah. In this situation, there's not much of a reason to swap. The screen shake killed me, dude. I can't see what was happening. Oh, my word. All right. Core area 2. We can get another... Sh Oh, it brings you up to the next floor at one health? Okay, bite me. I'm... I'm dead, dude. That don't matter. That's not gonna really help me. Is it? If it was the other... Like, the same last floor and I could get a cookie... Oh, I'm dead. No? Wait, so it's... I'll say... this: These are not the enemies from the core... want to, but I'm gonna. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, these are the enemies from the court that I remember. Shoop, 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 shoop. Oh, boy. Those bounce. Nope, they don't. Let me be free. Uh, who's up here? I'm invincible. Good. Okay, that is not a shop. That is, that is not a shop, but it is one of these rooms, which I do want. Universal rocket attachment. That sounds fun. Cookie, please. Um. What the hell is going on here? Please. Not like this. Smile. Woof. Woof. Go, 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 go. So I, I don't know what triggers that uh, that special event. Because that thing was killer. I'll take that again, please. Music? What are you doing? Hello? Okay, that rocket attachment seems really good. Potentially even just... Extra good on my uh, my sniper. Feels like it happens every X seconds, or like on the first shot of the the gun. That was pain. How many of my hits were specifically from that enemy on explode on death? It's not that I don't know it's coming. It's that it's just nasty. good. Yeah, clearing a room does um, delete the bullets. Uh oh. God. It's actually kind of bad there that we got ammo back on hit. Reloading. Reloading again. Wait, was that it? That was it? No. 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 Alright, we got an exit. I guess we'll look for the clear. I mean, I guess we know that the... So what's there is just straight up the boss. So I don't really need money... 
at this point. So I don't need to clear any more stuff. Any more stuff. <laughs> Does this take two to upgrade? Three. Okay. Wait. Why did I go to buy a key? Oh, I thought this was a three chest is why. Extended mag capacity? I'll take it. But yeah, there's not much of a reason to clear any of these terminals unless we were to get that cool event. But it seems like that's not very likely. So maybe let's just go and give it another shot. Right. Zoop, 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 zoop. Could it have happened? Sure. But I think that it's better for me to try to clear this with 30 health. Don't tell me that this grappling hook item works uh, ad infinitum. What a shocker! Okay, he was invincible for that. Ah, god dang it. That's... yeah. Iframes, what are they? Never heard of them. We're, we're gonna be dead here. Um... Uh, 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 Filthy worm, time to destroy the core. Ah, yes. I've been given maximum HP. Surely... Destroying the pillar might just crack the core open. Uh... Okay, we, like we actually have to kill the pillars. Uh, I'm expecting something else. But I'm also not expecting to beat that something else. It worked, let's do this! What? Okay, so now this is like the actual, the, ah, gotcha. So it's core into infested core. This is a long freaking run for an action roguelike. Oh man. Thank you. Take me away. Take me away. Neat. Go back to camp. I'm curious how, like, so what are you talking about? Increase your healing from food, increase your maximum health, improve item food quality. Increase your weapon damage, improves level, improves level layout, greater chance for chests, more keys and food. I gotta be honest, this stuff it does ruin it for me a bit. There will be people who love this, but the fact that I made it to what was probably the final level and then now we have... Keep even more tech when you die, more tech from terminals, get more tech from chests, more damage, more health, more healing, better food, better layouts, more keys, Papa John's. You know, it's 
it it detracts from it for for for, for, for me but not for everybody right it's a your mileage may vary on that one um but like sure i'll just have more weapon there's multiple tiers of all of them too okay all right all right all right all right all right all right so hey it, it, this it will appeal to a certain subset of people a lot more and a certain set uh, of people a lot less the people who are probably really big fans of enter the gungeon and like got really deep into it like and really liked it probably will hate the fact that this exists uh, i'm one of those people but uh, people who thought gungeon was too difficult well here you go now you have a way to literally just buy a win you know you can just buy your way to victory if you if you so choose by just playing a lot if that is appealing to you then you would know you would know right now if that's a, a, a positive or a negative uh for me it's a detractor for you it may be the sole reason that you want to pick this up over something like enter the gungeon um and that's just a personal preference thing i guess we'll go for this yeah yeah and multiple tiers on them and everything too that is hefty stuff i wonder if there's a mode for turning it off i lost an eye to those damn creatures I'm not going back down but i can help you improve if you find me some tech i mean i know that like technically this would probably be the most logical thing to go for first especially since it seems like the uh yeah the currency for interestingly enough the currency for buying stuff in the run oh god that's even worse the stuff that you would use in run you have to decide if you don't want to spend it in your run so that you bring it back for permanent progression stuff. I, I think that that's a big misstep. I think that's a huge misstep, the fact that it's the same currency. Because if I were to play another run, what I would sit here and do is I'd be like, I, I guess I don't want to buy anything because I need to increase my max health from run to run. You know, or I, I sh probably shouldn't increase my, you know, pick up this gun. I probably shouldn't buy this cool gun because... I need to make it so the game gives me more keys and food, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But alas, 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 I think it's a cool game. I think it's a promising game. It's out now in 1.0. The dev is going to keep updating it. Uh, whether or not there's a mode for like a... What is it? Start with a key, reduces phase walk cooldown time. I definitely prefer a phase walk cooldown time reduction. Um, if the dev is, you know, maybe looking to add a mode that possibly is balanced around... Because the thing is, you could probably beat a run... You could probably beat a run without the meta progression, right? Probably. It would just be a little bit more tedious and a lot more frustrating. Uh, so maybe there could be a mode that just turns off all the progress that you picked up. You know? I think that could be a cool thing. Teleport is broken. Mechanic's trying to fix it. Gotcha. Uh, but alas, alas, I think it's a cool game. I think it's worth your time, especially if you like meta progression and twin stick shooter action roguelikes. I think that it is your jam then, probably. But alas, alas, thank you for watching. Check out the channel, roguelikes and more every single day, and I will see you next time. Bye.